Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day number 30 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. Our ECT, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48-state four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction, and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number 46, Oklahoma. On Route 66, the Mother Road, Main Street, USA. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just wanna help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So yeah, uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, that's what I'm working with. It rained last night, it rained this morning. I had to wait until way late uh, to even try to miss the rain. And while I was laying here waiting, I had plenty of time to look at the route ahead. Route 66 from here to Chicago, what that looks like, how to get to the Katy Trail, all the things. And with the time that I have left before October 31st, before Clark's uh, third birthday, and now, with days like this, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Like, the first half of this tour was just easy going. Easiest, easiest route I've ever had, ever on a cycle tour. D tailwinds every day, you know, a couple of headwind days. Uh, at this point, though, there is no way that I would be able to finish, so I'm calling it. It is over with here in Oklahoma City. Uh, this is one of the last places that I could have taken a train from. However, all the train uh, stuff is sold out. So what I'm going to have to do, I've booked a flight from OKC to Mobile. It gets into Mobile tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to have to catch an Uber because this is a south wind. And I'm not even going to try to go through all this traffic again through Oklahoma City, another 20 miles back the other direction uh, to try and get to the airport. Uh, so I've got an Uber. They're going to take me to a bike shop that I've already been in contact with uh, that will be able to box the bike up and get it to uh, Mobile to ship it home for me. Uh, then I'll go to the UPS store and I'll ship everything else that I can ship so I'm not having to pay exorbitant bag charges on Delta. Uh, and I'll ship that stuff home and then I'll just take the little bit that I need in a backpack with me to the hotel and catch the flight tomorrow at 345 headed home. Uh, it is definitely with a heavy heart that I end the tour here, but it's the only logical option. Uh, it's just the wrong time of the year to be heading up toward the Great Lakes with my friend Dominic Barbaro and all his Canadian uh, blasts headed down south. I would just have to take so many zeros, it's not possible. Uh, I am going to get in contact with Brian Kaufman with the Des Moines Register and uh, the Detroit Free Press and let him know. Uh, that the plans have changed and I'm also going to contact Mark Campbell. So Mark was going to meet me. You remember Mark from the Midwest tour. He's the only successful knee surgery I've ever performed. Uh, he was going to meet me in St. Louis, ride the Chain of Rocks Bridge and ride some of Route 66 with me. Uh, so I'll have to contact him too and let him know that I will no longer be headed that way. Uh, several things, several more things came into it. Uh, my tire yesterday, I broke another spoke. So the concrete Route 66 in some of these areas is concrete and some of it's settled and it's making like a one to two inch bump like sh sharp 90 degree edge that you've got a bicycle over and with the weight that I carry to vlog uh, I'm, I'm just hitting them hard it's it's not working it happened in Tucum Carry. I blew two spokes I've blown one here and I just can't trust uh, the bike and the weight that I carry to get me the rest of the way another thing the traffic has picked up incredibly. You know, first half of this ride all the way really to Amarillo was almost traffic less. Uh, rarely saw cars. It was just beautiful. Now I'm on frontage roads going down interstates. I just left I-40. I'm going up I-44. They won't even let you get on I-44. Like I would have to take all these little swervy roads around. Uh, it's just, it's not possible. It's not going to work. So I talked to Christy. The flight in shouldn't interfere with her scheduling too much to be able to come pick me up since it'll be just close to home in Mobile and she won't have to drive all the way to New Orleans and all the way back uh, and that kind of thing. So that works and um, we've looked at 
changing the Pacific Coast next year, not doing Arkansas Spring Break, Pacific Coast, and then Ragbri, uh, followed up by the end of the year, you know, fall, north rim of the Grand Canyon, the Monument Valley final ride. We've changed that up to being um, next summer, driving from our home to Arkansas, me, Liam, and Kirsten riding around. Uh, then going up to the Katy Trail and doing that together, I still feel like God's called me to vlog, vlog the, the Katy Trail to meet people there uh, and to vlog it for the cycling community. And then we would leave the Katy Trail and go over to Ragbri and do Ragbri and then come home from there. And it would keep it a lot more compact, less you know finances, less all kinds of things. It just makes a lot more sense to keep it kind of right there above our hometown uh, headed north. Uh, so that'll kind of take, take care of all of those things and leave us ready for the fall uh, next year for the final ride so that we can all be together as a family for both of those rides. Uh, and then the final thing, the final confirmation, aside from broken spokes and crazy winds, uh, you know, changing weather, it's going to be in the 30s uh, in the next couple of weeks. And while I can do it, uh, I don't want to. Like, that's just, nope. I saw everything I needed to see yesterday to know I don't need to go to Chicago. Um, just too many hills, too much traffic, too much, uh, no. So, yeah, uh, the final thing uh, that really sealed the deal, though, was I only have one na name left to ride for, and so that is today. This is this video. I won't be doing much riding, if any riding at all, just from here up to the campground entrance or wherever Uber is going to pick me up from. Uh, but I did want to like finish the tour out with a video for that person for this day. Uh, very rarely have I ended a tour with, you know, the last name on the last day. Usually I have names left over for the next ride, and it just worked itself out this way. So, it's all coming together. I'm doing the best I can to just follow uh, the Lord's lead. I think I could have made it to the end of the Katy Trail. Uh, I just don't, if I can't, there's no way home uh, easily accessible without going into Kansas City or into St. Louis. Same same thing, different day, farther along, too much uncertainty. This is definite. It's guaranteed. I'm going home. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first half of Route 66. Maybe one day uh, as just a personal vacation, uh, we'll be able to come out and, and finish vlogging the rest of it, but it won't be a Redeeming Eden ministry uh, effort. It will just be something to do for fun. So, yeah, with all that being said, uh, I'll probably film the stuff that, you know, happens over the next little bit. I might not. Um, don't even know how that's going to work. Uh, and so you'll see that here. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch back up with you guys as uh, this way back home goes along. You'll see more of that right about now. So just rolling here to the bike lab and they took care of me above and beyond. If you're in Oklahoma City, make sure that you go to the bike lab for any service that you need. I walked through the door, was just telling them what I was riding for, telling them where I was going, and they said they were not going to charge me to box the bike at all. Uh, I do still have to like pay bike flights to ship it, but as far as the labor and stuff that they do and the box cost and all that, totally on bike lab. Thank you so much, Dustin, Tony. You guys are amazing. I appreciate y'all. Um, sat down and started looking for uh, hotels near the airport. There's a Wyndham Garden Inn, right? So I was like, yeah, uh, go in there. And it just so happens a UPS store is right around the corner so that I can get the rest of the um, stuff that I need to ship home shipped home. It's just all falling together. I love it when a plan comes together. I think God would have blessed it the other way with me finishing. But I mean, look at the trees bent over. It's just, it's a little too much. I, I was not going to make it by far. 
best place to go home from. And I'm going to keep on making that journey right about now. All right, so I'm here at the Hilton Garden Inn. It actually turned out to be a pretty nice room for uh, 80 bucks. Like, still way better than California. <laughs> They're crazy. They are absolutely crazy out there. Uh, very cool stuff. So when I got here, I went ahead and immediately went out to UPS and shipped everything home. The only thing I'm flying with is just this bag. Uh, so that'll make things a lot easier. The bike uh, is well on its way home also. But yeah, this morning I'm headed out. I'm going to go get my hair cut. And then I have a 345 flight out of um, OKC to Atlanta with Delta and then a three hour layover and then a flight from Atlanta to Mobile. So at this point I'm going to insert a 30 second travel montage for you guys and then I'll be back with you shortly. Let's go. I tell you what it just keeps getting better. I know I said there was going to be a uh, travel montage here but I just rolled into scissor work. Char came in, cut my hair, no charge. Thank you so much Char unreal like i know i'm absolutely where god wants me it always hurts my pride to you know not keep going on the plan that you know i've seen god provide for but i'm good with him changing it too so very cool Welcome to Mobile, Alabama. Let's go find this Lineberry family. I think I see them. I see one on crutches. Hey, that snuggle bug. Hey, buddy. Ah. Uh, we pee? Oh. Love you. All right. Let's go. Find mama. Oh, there's a mama. One more. All right, so I'm alive and well here in Mobile, Alabama. My little poker cat friend is still hanging out. And uh, yeah, the um, all of the different uh, buckets from the bike made it in through UPS. Everything was fine. I did not lose anything this time. That was super good. Uh, the bike made it in. It has a hole in the side of the box. I haven't had any time to even unbox it yet. Uh, it has been busy but good. We've actually focused on rest uh, kind of as a family this time, which is one of the first times we've really done that, that I've come home and my whoop statistics have been great. There have been a couple nights here recently where it's uh, bottomed out, but uh, all in all, it's been good, uh, recovering well. Really enjoyed Route 66. That whole first half was just absolutely amazing. Um, again, just can't explain how much the, the traffic and everything just changed. Everything changed, and that's okay. Uh, I've learned to you know accept it when those things happen. Again, I think God would have totally been able to use it uh, if I had continued to go to Chicago, he's just that big. Like, he is big enough to be able to handle every scenario, no matter how it happens. But I think this ended up being the right one, so. Uh, another thing I didn't talk about in the video, after I had got to the hotel room, after I had recorded that video, I got a text from Christy letting me know that Liam had hurt his knee 
uh, at school. It was swollen. It was huge. It looked terrible. And so it was just kind of more confirmation that the timing was perfect. Uh, he was on crutches there at the airport like you saw, and uh, he is off the crutches now, and he's doing much better. We've actually been practicing archery out here in the yard. Um, he's on his archery team at school, so he's able to do that, walk down, get the arrows, come back up. He's, he's doing well, so. Uh, all in all, again, Route 66 was amazing. Thank you everyone who participated, prayed, commented, messaged, phone called, supported in whatever way that you were able to support. Um, one of the loneliest tours that I can remember, and I think that was just amplified by the fact that I had had Liam with me, you know, that whole uh, second half of uh, through Ragbri and then Ragbri ending with 23,000 other people and Tracy and Michelle Snyder and Forest, like, I got to experience bike tour, a full bike tour, not just people joining up for, you know, a few days or, or whatever, but like a full bike tour with a person, my son, and it was just, it was harder, it was much harder. Luckily, uh, thank God, none of the other ones are going to be alone. We will all now be together as a family, and we have almost completely decided on uh, what I was talking about earlier in the video. Uh, next summer, we will go to Arkansas. We'll ride around in Hot Springs. We'll ride around that area. Maybe even rent bikes as a family and explore some of the towns and vlog it. Get state number 47. Go up and do the Katy Trail as a family and then go up and do Ragbri as a family with Christy being SAG and meeting us in each of the towns. Uh, depending on whether Kirsten can pedal it by then by herself, um, Liam will definitely give it a shot. I and then the very last ride will be um, Utah, North Rim of the Grand Canyon to Monument Valley, Utah. If you are able to make that ride, I am settling it down now with some friends. Justin Hanneken uh, and his crew are doing their Ends of the Earth Cycling Lake Tahoe ride from the 9th through the 13th of September. So I'm still waiting to hear back from him. Uh, I'm going to try to do it in tandem with them so that anybody from that ride that wants to ride uh, that has the availability to do so, we'll be able to ride all of those days or just the last day. That's kind of what we have to tie down. Do I need to put it out to like the 20th of September or do I need to put it like more like the 15th of September, last day? But I'll know all that. I'll keep you guys informed. Uh, I will definitely be producing more videos. I've talked to Thad Sales. Uh, Thad has recommended that I do like Redeeming Eden devotionals like Red uh, and just do like a two-minute devotional. Uh, I don't know how often I would do that or if I'm going to be able to, to factor that into, you know, the home life that I have here. But I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Uh, I think it's the right thing to do. I think that it would be a great way to keep uh, you guys informed of what's going on here at home and to just share the word. That's what gives me the power uh, to live a Christ-filled life. He, it's, the, it's him providing for the Holy Spirit in me when I go on the bike rides. Uh, it has nothing to do with me. I've said that a hundred times before on this channel. Uh, it's just completely Jesus. It's Jesus for Jesus, through Jesus, by Jesus. And I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> uh, so be looking for those videos uh, as time rolls along. I've also got a super special video that I think I'm going to go ahead and release. I wanted to make it all the way to Chicago to do it, but I think I've got enough footage to be able to put it out. And also the slideshow video will be coming out soon. Uh, I'm also going to start doing like review stuff of all the things that I use while on the bike tours. Uh, just a multifaceted kind of day in the life type thing of all the different things uh, about the cycle tours. I even talked to Renee Acevedo and he had mentioned doing like a live, a Q&A where I can, you know, log on, get, get live, go live and you guys can ask questions in the comments, whatever you want to know about Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. If you think that's a good idea, please drop that in the comments so I know that that's definitely a route that I could take uh, with the channel since I'm available to do lives with uh, being a YouTube um, partner. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this video here. Again, thank you so much, everyone, uh, from the bottom of my heart. I cannot tell you how appreciative I am. 46 states are done, two states left to go, an amazing last and final year next year. And we've given everything we've got over the last few years to see Redeeming Eden, the Garden Rehab, come to fruition. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's it for the video for uh, Day 30 from here in Mobile, Alabama, at my humble abode. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later.
Have a good night.